Hello, Bill Carroll for Zinni 60 Media, taking a look at the Lions and Tampa Bay. Two interesting teams, uh, both with a sort of reclamation project at quarterback. Both these quarterbacks, once again, illustrate to people that you should be, you should be more patient with young quarterbacks than people have been recently for whatever reason. These are two talented guys, maybe not elite in terms of physical talent, but they're both guys that can win you games to the point, once again, that you know, maybe get to the Super Bowl. We've seen Goff do it already. If Baker Mayfield, the unexpected, gets this team to the Super Bowl, uh, well, that will change the way people perceive him. And he was probably not perceived correctly anyway. Uh, I don't want to get too deep into like metrical analysis and analytics, but if you look at him in terms of what he did as a college quarterback, he sh it should have been easy to predict that he'd be successful. Not just because he put up a lot of big numbers, but because he played very well sometimes against the better defenses, sometimes even better than he played against bad defenses. And that's usually a good indicator of what a guy might be later on. But let's talk about this particular game. Uh, the Buccaneers uh, come into this game, obviously, as the saying goes, you know, playing with the quote-unquote house's money, right? Uh, they are a team that is explosive on offense, particularly in the passing game. They are able to run the ball, not super efficiently, but reasonably well <clears throat> uh, with, now Chase Edmonds will not be available, but Rashad White, I think is one of the better young, you know, people use the term all around or two way or whatever term we use, but he's, he's really good. They'll be missing Khalif Raymond. Uh, Sam Laporta will play, but probably will be limited in his impact. The other sort of good news is that James Houston, who was, had a terrific rookie season and obviously a very injury marred second season will be back will be available even if they just use him in just you know third and long situations he's going to help that pass rush and so i'm expecting a few other guys who have injury technicians who will play probably some of them will play fully brock wright who's a uh, one of the reserve tight ends is going to play he comes down he's sometimes on there in those like two and three tight end sets frank ragnow who is a terrific uh center will play, though he's fighting through a back and a toe. You're going to see Alex Anzalone play through shoulder and ribs. Uh, terrific young, maybe budding superstar, nickel slash uh, safety in Brian Branch is playing through a knee. And as is Kirby Joseph, another really terrific young player in that, that safety spot who I, I fell in love with when I was watching him at years of Illinois. He was being coached up by Levy Smith, and he's continued to grow and develop. For the Buccaneers, Wolford has an illness. I mentioned Chase Edmonds, questionable with the toe. Uh, and then Shaquille Barrett is fighting through an ankle. Those players may or may not play. Uh, I feel like, you know, Wolford, it really won't matter unless, of course, something happens to Baker Mayfield and to Kyle Trask. So hopefully he won't come into play either way. Shaquille Barrett, I believe, will play, though. He may be on a bit of a snap count. And then, you know, Baker's fighting through ribs and an ankle, but he's going to play and play well, I believe. Uh, Chris Godwin will, once again, a tough guy. He's going to definitely play through that knee. And then the big one to me is Yana Diaby. Uh, he's a guy that, you know, when paired with the other players they have in that, that really sort of diverse and interesting group of, of defensive linemen, he's the one who may be the best pure pass rusher. But uh, he's going to be important in this game. I, I think that the Lions have a little bit too much, and I think it'll be close early on, but look for about halfway through the third quarter. The Lions start to pull away, maybe get to a 10-point lead, and maybe they come back, you know, the bucket towards the end to make it closer. But I'm thinking about at least a six-point win for the Detroit Lions. And I'll be watching it, of course. If you care about football, so will you. Bill Carroll for Zinni 62 Media.